is complete. Come on, sanctify it with Jesus. Hold your head up. Encourage yourself this morning. It's already better. Woo. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. Wake up. Get up and move in your purpose. Welcome this morning, family, for our weekly visit of, of coming together and encourage one another that, that you are God's greatest miracle and that he is working in your favor for you right now. And he is that big of a God that he can perform for me at the same time that he's taking care of you because he's already put it into motion. And we have to, this, this, this word of faith, this word of faith, which uh, uh, does not, it does not uh, uh, um, uh, exist anywhere else but in your mind. You try to get faith in, on the outside and, and people will tell you you're crazy. You, you try to talk about faith in, in front of other people that, that do not believe in faith and, 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 they, and they look at you like you, you lost your mind. And, and you have to know as well as I have to know that Hebrews 11 and 1 says that now faith, not yesterday faith, not next week faith. This is we're talking about a right now faith. And then you know how, how, how the principle is. When is now? Every zero to five seconds. When? Now. 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 See, that is now. And I must have a now faith that is consistent and growing and going to another level. And some things we don't have to worry about anymore. You ever heard the principle that, that I, I share of swish? That means I don't have to deal with that anymore. I'm not, I'm not worried about that challenge coming before me because by faith, I have, I have completed the task, and I believe, and you may not see it on the outside, but I know that the place where faith dwells, that place that where God dwells, that place where he works in me, that place that he keeps designing for us to be entangled with him, that we can stay connected at all times. Oh yes, God God sent his son to, to start the, the process. But don't you know, as well as I, it's up to us to continue the process to go to the next level of what has already been prepared for you and prepared for me. Oh yeah, everybody knows that scripture. Uh, uh, I, pr I pray you do too, that, that he says, I go to prepare a place for you individually. In my father's house, there are how many? Many mansions. But if you do not have faith, if I do not have faith, the faith of, it doesn't have to be all, 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 all grandiose, it doesn't have to be all, all, all spectacular. If I have faith of a mustard seed, you know, a mustard seed is, is a little bitty, 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 bitty seed that can move mountains, that, that, can, that can help you climb mountains, that can now produce, oh my God, that can produce God's blessings through you to others. Mm. And I love to, 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 to kind of stick on that point right there because watch this. What he did, I must do also. And so much you. So much you. <laughs> it doesn't mean that it's just for me. It means uh, 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 that, 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 that. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, grandiose and a seed. Yes, yes, a mustard seed. But I must also, if I believe in him and the works that he did, in my mind, wake up in my mind. Oh, John 15, 5 for new listeners. Abide in him and he abides in you. Uh, 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 get up in your thinking. Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Move in your purpose. Oh, no. You've been called according to a purpose because you love God. Oh, my God. See, 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 there's a purpose to this thing. But we must continue not to go, watch this, horizontally. But we must go vertically. And by faith, oh yes, by faith, I can do all things. By faith, I can do what the word of God says I can do. By faith, I can see it come to pass in the now. Not, not watch this, not looking for someone to show me anything, but to already see what God has done. Faith, now faith, not tomorrow faith, not yet. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. And now the evidence of things not seen. You know what I mean by not seen. You you know that faith is in rebellion to facts. <clears throat> facts don't match up to faith. When you try to speak faith, people want to see it on the outside. If you said, no, God is going to provide whatever, whatever, whatever. People want to see it before they believe it. 
But when you walk by faith and not by sight, you know that you have a place that God has already shown you everything you need and everything you can and will have. Oh, my God. But you must get in the place to see it. I must get in the place to see it. I must be willing to now watch vertically change my direction. They're no longer looking at the horizontal plane, but looking at the vertical plane because I know that kingdom come will be done on earth as it is in heaven by faith. Somebody needs some faith this morning to know that the word of God can come through for me if I have just a little faith. Yes, I can over overcome uh, 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 circumstances, uh, uh, Minister Terry. Yes, I can, I can, I can leap over things and, and understand this, but see, faith. Is the substance of things hoped for. Do you have a hope that he did it already? Come on, let's get in the mindset of waking him up in my mind. Because see, when I wake up in my mind, I got to change my mindset that now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Do you have hope today that is done? See, that's where we get mixed up and we don't see the results because we never have the, 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 the assurance of hope. And the assurance that if he did it also, so can I. All I must do is believe. Turn your Bibles this morning with me to uh, Hebrews chapter 12. Let me give you some strip, few scriptures today as we get ready to continue. Friday, we'll come back together and close out this week of wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. But watch what chapter 12 of Hebrews says. Hey Amen. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for giving us a clear understanding. Thank you for spreading your understanding and your wisdom and your wisdom on top of that some more understanding that, Lord, we leave this place not the same, but change, rearrange, and transform by the renewing of our minds. In Jesus' name we pray. In agreement, everybody said amen. He says, therefore we, first of all, let's get it together. He's talking to us. Those of us that have elevated because guess what? It's time. Remember, when you elevate, it's time to elevate somebody else up with you. There's never a, a resting period to say, oh, I made it. Oh, I made it. I made it. They can serve me now. Now now I, I can be patted on the back. Now they can carry my books. I'm not taking away from, from a, a, a armor bearer ship because the, God places certain people in your lives to do certain things like that. But I'm talking about it doesn't have to be a necessity. Those are the things that are, are offerings that come freely. I am talking about principle that he has called us all according to a purpose. Watch this. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by such so great cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which too easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking in, unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of, of our way, faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and shut and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such a hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. Watch this. I know God has called me to another level. And I know that God has, has, has encouraged me to, to become faithful and acceptable in his eyesight. But we have to understand and get to an, a, 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 an agreement, watch this, that God wants you in the army as well as, and, and he wants you as busy as he wants me. He wants us all to, to come into this, 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 this journey and take this journey personal. And say, you know what? I know I'm going to help my brother, and I'm going to put, but I am here to be accountable, responsible, and part of the us. Mm. See, the us is the is the court of one accord, the court where where it's not my will, it's not your will, but it's the will of God, not because anything we can do or what we, but because of the what the one who went before us. And it made it a right way for us to have a relationship with God. See, see that cross, that vertical plane, not the not the not the not the not the horizontal plane, that vertical plane that gets me to heaven. Where now I can think clearly, I can I can feel clearly, I can act clearly, and I can be accountable to what God has said is, is available. What is available? That faith. 
faith can 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 move mountains that that faith can heal the sick that faith can can raise the dead that that faith can give the give sight to the blind that that faith can do whatever you say faith can do but are you speaking it because you really believe are you speaking it because you made up your mind created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me it's nothing to do with this it all begins here and it all ends here i will not perish <laughs> i will have everlasting life in the spirit where does the spirit dwell in my mind? Let this mind, let this spirit be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He says it's the power that worketh in us, not on us, around us, but the power that works in us. Hallelujah. That gives me strength to climb. Oh, don't move my mountains. Give me strength to climb. Because guess what? There's going to be another mountain to come. And we have to start to be prepared. For what God has said, it's time to do. Oh no, there's a lot of we got earthquakes, we have hurricanes, we 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 have we have tornadoes, we have storms, we have we it's consistent. We got another Maria coming up through uh, uh, that peninsula and that may hit on the other side of uh, of the, the Carolinas. Uh, earthquakes in, in Mexico, uh, fires out here in California. And we just got over one of the biggest rains we've ever had. We ain't lacking no water. We don't need no more water, as a matter of fact. But guess what? That has nothing to do because I must still believe that God will save me. I remember I told you guys about being in Hurricane Harvey. And, and, and you know, I was out there helping people and the water was up to here. And, and I was, you know, supposed to come back to California, right? And I tell you, I broke down for a moment. I said, Lord, you going to leave me like this? Get me up out of here. He said, I got you. He said, you're not wanting for anything. He said, look, you even have the strength to climb and help somebody else to climb. And I could nothing but submit myself and say, thank you, Jesus. And, the, and these people, I'm telling you, they were looking at me. Look at this. He out here worshiping God in the midst of his rain, walking across water of rivers in, the, in, main, in on normal dry streets to help people get their cars home, to get back to safety. And, and, and I just could not be nothing but humble because of what God has done for me and what God is doing for me and what God is going to do. What? what no, 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 no. In me. Nothing on the outside. I must go to work and make it happen on the outside as well as you. It's time to go to work. It's time to put your hand to the plow. It's time to say, I'm just not going to talk the talk, but I'm going to walk the walk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak into existence. Those things that I'm, I'm praying for today, those things that I'm asking for, you got to speak it into existence. I want to say this to somebody today. There's something that's not finishing. You're the hold up. It, I could be talking to me because there's some stuff that on my end that I'm waiting to finish out because I got to finish strong. But this is particular for somebody out there. You're the hold up. It is because of your lack of faith. Not of what he's going to do, but what happens afterwards. Oh, Jesus. Not what he can do for you. Believe he can do it. But your lack is what happens afterwards. Your, your fear is what happens afterwards. And what's holding and what's bottlenecking your blessing is the after, which is out of your control. Because tomorrow is not promised. And yesterday is done. But right now is sufficient for itself. Somebody, oh, it's more than one person, thank you, Holy Spirit, is blocking your blessing, not because you don't trust God to do it. Oh, my God. It's because what you're going to be required to do after, he does it. And if you really want him to move, which I know you do, I see your prayer requests. I, I feel you in the spirit with covenant. If you really want to see God do it, get out the way. Oh, my God. Give it to him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all, your, in all your ways and he shall direct your path. There is no mistake he's about to do a spectacular miracle in your life because you've been asking for it. But now that you see it about to come to fruition, you want to skirt the brakes and say, wait a minute, look what comes tomorrow. 
and you now have blocked it. You got to get out the way. Come on, say I get out the way. Say it, say it. I get out the way. If you're online, to confess it to your brother right now. I get out the way. You ain't going to know what you're talking about. But you need to tell somebody verbally, I get out the way. You need to profess it. You need to decree it. And you need to declare it over your life right now. I get out the way. Type it on, on, on here so we can see it. Put it out there. Say, I get out the way. Can I, some, Minister Terry, type this for me. Pastor E said, he gets out the way. <laughs> I'm out the way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, can you feel the, 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 the release? Did you, can you feel that? Oh, come on. When you said that, could you just feel it? I did. Oh my God. Can you just feel the weight lifted off your shoulder when you said, I get out the way? I get out the way. Oh, I get out the way. Oh, I get out the way. Every time I say it, it feels like another weight is being lifted. Oh, my God, I get out the way. Come on. Can we get a worship of I get out the way going on this morning? Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I get out the way. 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 I get out of the way. Less of me and more of you. Less of me and more of you. Less of me and more of you. Less of me. I get out the way. Oh, my God. We don't need no music to worship. I get out the way. I get out the way. I get out the way, Lord. See, 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 when you surrender all, that means you got to get out the way. Go, come on, go for it. Go for it. Come on, take that leap. Mm, that leap of faith. Saying that I trust you. Take that leap of faith. Say, I'm not worried about what. I know you got me. I get out the way. Oh my God. I get out the way. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God has moved in that moment right there for me. I hope he moved for you. Oh my God. He did. He moved for. See, that was something that happened all at the same time. I don't care where you are geographically. If you were able to worship that song, if I get out the way, that was a, that was a worship song right there. I get out the way. I get out the way. I get out the way. I get just the birds are being lifted. The, 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 the yokes are being destroyed because the anointing is flowing right now. Oh, my God. Come on. Link into this anointing. If you're with somebody right now, link into this anointing and touch them and let that anointing flow to them. Say, I get out the way. Watch God move. I get out the way. Watch him move some more. I get out the way. Watch him heal. Watch him correct the, the wrong paths and the wrong decisions. Watch, 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 watch him, watch him straighten your path. Watch him give you the desires of your mind to, to serve him. To worship him without strain or, or worry of bills and and, 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 and and the circumstances of this world. To say, I just get out the way because I can love you as you love me. I can give myself away to you right now. And I say, use me. Use me to honor you. Use me to worship you. Use me. Oh, use me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I get out the way. Jesus. And if you don't have somebody to touch, I dare you to touch yourself. Oh, my God. I get out the way. Woo, if you got a hint, oh, touch yourself. I, I dare you to rub over where it's hurting at right now and say, I get out the way. It might be that knee. I get out the way. It might be that ankle. It might be that kidney. It might be that, that physical heart. I get out the way. We Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't forget you, Veronica Valentine. You are in the, you are in the portion room. And I, got, I know God has you, without a doubt. But I still get out the way. Because, see, even our faith tells us to get out the way. Because you can't see it. God is faith. Because you, you, you can't prove it to anybody like, look, man, this pen. See, it's red. It clicks and opens. It clicks and closes. See, that's facts. That's facts. But facts are in rebellion to faith. And what if I said I got a million pins and they're gold? 24 karat gold and you can have them all. So that's faith. Take it right now because I get out the way. Oh, somebody said to <laughs> write a song. Woo! I'm, and I look, I'm, I'm making the write a song. I'm getting, oh my God, out <laughs> the way. Woo, somebody beat me to it. Go ahead. <laughs> we can sing it together. Oh my God. See, see, that's really, that, that, that oh, 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 see, the Spirit said right there, some people are like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Do it. 
<laughs> we'll sing it together. Oh my God. Oh, because I'm going to get out the way. Oh my God. I'm going to get out the way and I'm going to let the Spirit of God have His way. Oh my God. I, it's just such an anointing flowing. This morning, oh, it's such an anointing of agreement going forth. It is such an anointing. Oh, Jesus, I know you've been healed. I know you're free. Oh, my God, because who the Son sets free is free indeed. I touch and agree with you. Oh, oh, I touch myself. <laughs> oh, I don't mind touching myself because I know what spirit dwells in me. Oh, I pray for myself because I know the spirit of God. Who see, it's, it's, it's anointing time. We need to get bring them bottles. We need to get back together. I know I have a lot of partners out there that, that here locally, we need to, uh, 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 I want to invite you guys, it'll be a, a, by next weekend, the office will be ready. Uh, it, we've had the office, but we just haven't used it for any really uh, gatherings and things like that. You'll be put some invites out there. I want you to get go buy you a, 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 a expensive bottle of, 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 of anointing oil, of olive oil, pure olive oil. Don't cheat yourself on this one. Get get a nice, pretty bottle, something that you really, really, really can say, oh, it's just honor to God. And we're, we're going to bring them bottles together. We're going to get together and do a service of just praying over that oil. And, and 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 allowing that anointing to be on, I, I tell you, every time I touch that one, I don't even get the oil no more. It just seems like it it just seeps out of the bottle, and, and it just keeps keeps the 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 the, the room filled. But but we got to get out the way and, and start anointing our doors and, and praying over our houses and stuff. You know, we we think one time is enough. It's not. We got to keep the anointing flowing in our homes. Washing our, 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 our drapes and, and, and changing some stuff around and cleaning behind some stuff. And, and it just doesn't have to be a spring clean. It should be always because anything can creep in and we have to be so, so protected. Oh, my God. So protected. That's my faith. See, I get out the way. I get out the way, Lord Jesus. I thank you this morning for joining me for Wake Up, Get Up, Move in Your Purpose. Yes, we'll be back Friday. Uh, yes, we've been asked to do it three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and we're waiting to finish up. So we're, we're, Like I said, we're changing some stuff around and making the studio a little bit more recordable and stuff like that. And preferably, we'll get to that Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And maybe every day at some point in time. But uh, right now, we just thank you for joining us on Wednesdays. I I'm blessed today. I'm so blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed that you've been here a part of this. I'm blessed that you, the anointing has, has reigned over you. And now you're at least releasing that anointing on someone else. But join us Friday for Wake Up, Get Up, Move in Your Purpose. If you're in the Compton area, I want to join, invite, personally invite you to come out to the gathering at Sylvia Nunn's Angels. That's at 200 North Long Beach Boulevard for our weekly Bible study. 12.30 to 1.30. We start on time. We end on time. Yes, there is a live broadcast that will be off tonight for those out of state. But if you're in the area, come and fellowship with us one-on-one. -on -one. Touch hands with us. Come pray with us. Come love with us and, and let's grow together at Sylvia Nunn's Angels, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, president CEO there, Cynthia Nunn, awesome woman of God, doing some mighty things in the community. You need some help. You need to always call her first and she can direct you to the right place you need to be. If you're in that area, you need some food, come by any day. She's always got a table out front with all kinds of different canned goods, different items that, that may be left over from the food giveaway. Uh, but then on Saturday at 12.30, you can come out from 12.30 to 1.30 there at Sylvia Nunn's Angels, 200 North Long Beach again. And all you do is just sign your name and how many people in your household and get a bag of food that, that can bless you. And I know you I know you got a job, I, but everything helps now. And, and you may know some, somebody that's in need. Send them out. Uh, it's available. We want to bless uh, uh, we want to bless by, by giving this information out. Sylvia Nunn's Angels, that's on Saturdays, 12.30 to 1.30, full giveaway. Then today at, at 12.30, our weekly Bible study to gathering. We'd love for you guys to come out there and continue this word. We've already kicked on about faith. We're talking about faith for, I, I'm not sure until when. Uh, this is a, a three-month series that I believe faith can just be taught, taught, taught. Because remember, we're getting ready for the crossover. It's time to go to a new new season. No more no more resolutions. No more I'm gonna do this. No more I'm gonna do that. No, we are gonna cross over into a new season. And what is new? New is something never ever ever been done before. So I'm ready for something never been done before. Because right now it's never been done before. Because I give I get out the way, <laughs> so he can move. I get out the way, so he can have his own way and and, and allow 
his spirit to manifest in you just as well. Amen. So join us for any of those, uh, uh, any of those events. And then tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Central, uh, and 10 p.m. Eastern, that's the Now Network News at 7, 9, 10, you're at, at your time zone with myself, Minister Terry, Minister Rashad. Rashad is the money minute. Minister Terry is what's the word. And, and we have a segment there to ask the pastor. But I'm also going to bring up some of the the, 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 the events that's going on in our country and, and things that we need to uh, be in prayer about, things that we need to be in submission with, and things that we need to allow God to do his work and us do what we're supposed to do pray. Amen. Family, you are loved. You are honored. You are appreciated. But most of all, watch this. You were beautifully made by God. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. And I know you hear this from me every time you hear me say something and I won't stop. I want you to know that because that there's always a negative word out there telling you, oh, you're not this. You used to be that. Don't let nobody speak a word of negativity to you ever again. Become your greatest cheerleader. Become your greatest encourager. You have the power that works in you to do what God says do. Then we can get together in the one accord. Remember Hebrews chapter 12. We're going to continue that and some other scriptures. But you know, a lot of us are weak because we don't ask for strength. You know, uh, uh, we, we, we're not steadfast in the things of God. And that's not why we're seeing the results. See, when you get out the way, that means there's no more worry. Don't let it come back on you. Because the thing you just put on the altar to say, I got out the way, you probably just got a phone call about it telling you they need your attention. Get out the way. And let God move in that situation. You are loved. You are honored. You are appreciated. You are beautifully made by God. And yes, you are God's greatest miracle. God bless you. We love you.